Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a Goodwill outlet haul, otherwise known as the Goodwill bins. I shopped both yesterday twice as well as the day before yesterday once. And I was able to find 39 pounds in total for both days. I shopped for eight hours collectively and I was able to find 50 items to resell. So I spent in total for both days $106 with seven cents. And so that makes my average cost of goods $2 and 12 cents per item. So we do have a lot to get through. I did include the stuff that I picked up for myself to keep. You guys seem to be interested in that. So I figured I would just quickly show it at first and then the rest will be to resell. So let's go ahead and get into it. I, again, the stuff I'm starting off with, I will be keeping. I grabbed this light wash Levi's Pearl Snap shirt. You guys know I love these over shirts uh, to just throw on over a tank top. This little Forever 21 a baby doll crop tank top I got to wear with light wash jeans, high rise light wash jeans. I already tried this on, it is so cute, I love that. Same kind of thing, little cropped tank. This is from Urban Outfitters, it's BDG and it has a little cat on it, so I thought that was precious. I'll probably lounge in that. This is a Free People, Intimately Free People, like blush pink tank top which I really like. I like getting high quality basics at the outlet because that probably cost me like 75 cents to a dollar on its own and it probably retailed for like 48 ish. So, I mean, you can really save some money there. And then this is free people, new attacks, really flattering button down mini dress. I tried this on. This is so flattering. I love this and I love the color. So, yeah, I'm excited to get some cute new items for my own wardrobe. Okay, now everything from here on out I will be selling. So starting off with a pair of shoes. These are by the brand Free People and they were originally a lace-up leather gladiator sandal. There is the Free People label. However, they are missing the lace-ups, the leather shoelaces. But I did order them on Amazon, replacements for them. And so I will just weave those in and get these listed. They are otherwise in amazing condition. They have this lug sole that's been really trendy. They're a size 40. And I mean, the leather is like really high quality, made in India. So with them being otherwise in excellent condition, I was not going to leave those behind. I think that's an easy fix. We have a couple kids pieces I will run through. I've been enjoying listing kids stuff. It's so easy to just flat lay. This one is a little Tahari dress with a fur collar. It's US size small, five slash six. This is adorable. It's a hand smocked Thanksgiving themed corduroy dress. I think I might give this to a friend. She has a little girl and she's like obsessed with smocked uh, kids clothing for her daughter. So I'm going to see if she wants that. This was a brand that I had not heard of, but it looked kind of expensive. Tally O by Elion at Lena. Uh, newborn clothing size 18 months. I just thought this was so cute. It has a little sweetheart neckline and then some texture throughout. I basically pick up kid stuff if it looks like it retailed for over 35, 40-ish dollars and if it looks brand new. This is by Jelly the Pug in a size seven. Again, no stains, no wear, no fading. And I loved the patchwork prints. So that's it for kids. On to bras and then we'll get into clothing. This is a third love bra. I've never found this brand in bras, but I have heard so many people talk about it and how it sells well. So this should go for at least 25, I would say. This is a brand to look out for in bras. I think they are relatively expensive. Size 34E classic t-shirt bra. And then this one I did look up. It's Wacol in a size 38G. It's a sports bra, 
And this looks like it will resell for, I think it was like 28 to 35 ish. It's in excellent condition. And these straps, you can adjust to any of these little notches here. So that's really nice. Excited about that. This one is Spanx brand, which I gravitate towards anything that is Spanx brand because it just holds its resale value so well, size large. It's a lace overlay strapless bralette. It does have just a tiny pink mark down here on the lace, which I'm going to try to get out. I have Amadex, which is an ink and stain remover. So we'll see how that does. Okay, getting into just regular good old clothing now. I first off found a pajama set, women's pajama set by Charter Club. Both new with tags, both in a size large. So these are, what is this? Uh, gingham, like a red gingham. Is that gingham? Check. I think it is gingham, but anyways, new with tags. And then the matching shirt was also new with tags. So these will be really nice for the holidays, but I will get them listed now. And I mean, you could wear those year round. They don't have like Christmas trees on them or anything. More new with tags. This is made well, size extra, extra small, ribbed button front, long sleeve. It's almost kind of like a cardigan long sleeve. It retails for $50. Okay, next, just a basic from Chico's Lyocell Chambray tank in a size one or US size eight slash 10, just a closet staple. This was an exciting find, Kinross Cashmere, which this probably retailed for $300 to $400. This brand is very expensive. It's a cream colored ribbed cardigan with a dolman sleeve. So very slouchy and relaxed kind of fit. So cozy. It does have pockets, really nice deep pockets. And I mean, this had no holes, no pilling. It, I honestly think it might be new without tags because it does still have this little tag barb here. And the fabric content is 80% wool, 20% cashmere. So yeah, so soft, so cozy. We have Abercrombie & Fitch, the 90 straight ultra high rise jeans in a size 14 regular or 32. These Abercrombie jeans have been selling so well for me. Should I turn my light up a little bit? <laughs> See if that's better. Uh, yeah, these jeans, the Abercrombie, like dad fit, 90s fit, that kind of thing have been selling so well. If they have the off-center button, like if the button's over here, that style sells very well. Also, these have some minimal manufactured distressing throughout. So yeah, I'm thinking these will probably go 35-ish. They are a great size. More chambray. I do pick up Gap stuff if it is substantial, like chambray pieces. This, for example, is a jumpsuit with a really trendy cut. It has that wide cropped leg, a defined waist with the drawstring, double V neckline, and it was in excellent condition. It's probably retailed at Gap for like $70. Gap is not cheap. So even if that sells for 25 to 28 ish, I'm happy with that. Next up we have Athleta. This is an older Athleta tag, but I still wanted to get it because these really soft, cozy knits from Athleta sell very, very well for me. I think this is, yeah, that's a magnet at the collar. So this is an open front, is that a waterfall drape? Not sure if it's waterfall, but it's definitely slouchy, heathered gray long line cardigan with slouchy pockets. And I mean, it's just so soft, so cozy. It's definitely in decent condition. 97% modal, which is the softest fabric, 3% spandex, so soft and stretchy. I think this is called the Studio Wrap Cardigan and it should sell for 30 to $35. Next up, another really nice material, Banana Republic. I have sold this exact blouse in a different colorway. I believe I have sold it in navy and black in the past and it sold pretty well. This is 100% silk size large 
and I got it for both of those reasons as well as this fun contrast scalloped design. It kind of gives you like a Dolce & Gabbana vibe in my opinion. It was also in great shape. The scallop trim continues on the sleeve. Maybe I need to turn my light down a little bit now. Sorry guys, I'm still getting used to the lighting here. I am in my apartment where I live. I usually film over at my office. Okay, next up we have Angie. This is a very bread and butter brand for me. I do pick it up in a lot of, I pick up a lot of kimonos in this brand, but I had to get these. I thought they were so cute. Very boho, very festival. And this pull-on elastic waist pant has been selling phenomenally for me. I think it's just really easy to wear. Could just throw on a crop top with these. These I don't think had a size, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I'll just try them on. They look like a small, and if they fit me, I'll say, you know, I'm small and they fit me, and then I'll include measurements. Next, we have H&M in a size extra large. I picked this up because it does, even though it is just H&M, very bread and butter, mall brand, it does have several marketable features to it, like first off, the size, extra large. It's also in a trendy leopard animal print and I like the cut to it. It has kind of like a balloon sleeve. You can kind of see it better in back I think. It's a longer length, tunic length. It was in excellent condition. It's a popover. So yeah, I think this should go probably 25-ish, 22, 25-ish. It was a little bit of a slower day the first day that I went. Yesterday was better. Uh, so the day before yesterday was a little bit slower, but yesterday was better. I think that's towards the bottom of this haul. I, yesterday I got there at, I want to say it was like 3 or 3.30 and I shopped until about 5 and then I went and got a burger. I was so hungry and a Coke to kind of refuel, get a little bit of energy going. And then I went back around 5.30 and stayed until 7.30 closing. They close at 8, but they kind of kick you out around 7.30. So yeah, it was a full day yesterday and it was a little bit of a better day and that stuff, like I said, is towards the end of the haul. Okay, next we have Calvin Klein. I recently sold a career dress by Calvin Klein in a plus size, I think it was 16W for $30 and so I wanted to pick up another one, see how this one does. This one is also plus size 18W. It's in a reptile purple print and it has a defined waist. Yeah, elastic waist with a drawstring and then these metal tassels. Does have pockets. It's in a really soft kind of jersey knit with a dolman sleeve, zippers at the sleeve. So lots of details here. And I mean, this kind of overlaps with career and just casual um, career because the material is a little bit more formal, I would say, but the style is kind of casual. So you could really do a lot with that. All right, next I got this based on style. The brand is River Plus Sky. It is also a size large. River Plus Sky. I mainly got it because of the print, size, and cut. You guys know that jumpsuits and rompers sell so well for me. It has kind of a kimono sleeve with this ombre tie-dye. Again, with that defined waist, you have a crossover or surplice faux wrap chest with a snap for coverage. You could unsnap that and wear a bikini top under this. It also has pockets, which we love. Okay, next, more plus size. Coldwater Creek in a size 2X. If this had been any other size, I probably would have left it or I'm if it had not been plus size, I would have left it. But this is a gorgeous purple plum colored open front velvet blazer. This will be gorgeous for fall time. It was in such good condition. Lined with the satin lining. I think, 
yeah, no button closure. So yeah, I'll probably expect around $30 from this. I do pick up Coldwater Creek in plus sizes and it sells pretty well. Okay, this is a bolo. I learned about this brand not too long ago from Courtney over at Common Tags. Shout out to her. Um, she said that she likes it for herself. The trash <laughs> truck just drove up. Um, and yeah, I've sold it once in the past. It sold pretty well, it was a hoodie. And then I found this thermal, it's American Giant, definite bolo. This thermal will probably sell for around $35 to $40. It's a women's size large waffle knit texture in a really pretty greenish color, kind of like a sage green. So yeah, super excited to find that. Another great find, Free People, size small, blazer with a chambray collar. And the comps on this were good. I, by that, I mean when I looked it up, there were, I think, only about three or four listed and several sold. So that is what I like to see when I'm looking at comps. It's a long line boyfriend fit blazer with a striped print. One button closure, it's like a faux wood button. Should I wait for the trash guy? I'll just, I'll wait a second. Cotton and rayon blend. So yeah, excited to get this listed. I'll probably list this, I would say probably like 40 to 45-ish. Next we have more bread and butter, umji size medium, elastic, uh, chest, I guess you'd say it, shoulder area, mini dress, it's a tan color with contrasting black stitching and tassels, and then this adorable rose cross stitch design on the sleeves, on the bell sleeves. So I can add a ton of keywords like boho, beachy, and I think this should sell well. This was also in excellent condition. Look, brand new. Another lightweight mini dress, this is by Hinge, which is a Nordstrom house brand in a size large. I mainly got this because t-shirt dresses or elevated basics do sell very well for me. This also has a very boho print. It's lightweight, v-neck. Get a close-up of this print here. Really pretty, so probably 28-ish on that. We have an American Eagle cardigan. I picked this up because of the size, extra large. It is also their newer tag, which I pretty much exclusively get these days. I also did like the color and, and cut of this. It's a semi-cropped cardigan with a three-button closure. Drops shoulder, so definitely kind of slouchy, and then this kind of nubby knit to it, loose knit. So I think that should go, again, probably 28-ish. This is a cabbie jacket in a size small. I do look up pretty much all cabbie pieces before I purchase them because some can, like I was just saying, some of the comps on particular cabbie pieces are just not good, meaning there are tons and tons of that specific piece listed and very few sold. But with this jacket, it was the opposite. There were few listed and lots sold. I think because this is a newer piece, it's a black ponty knit button down jacket with pockets. Cabby pieces are also incredibly easy to look up because they all have style numbers on the interior tag. So I just type that into Google. It's a short style number. I type in cabbie and then the four digit style number into Google. I get the exact style name of the piece and then I type that into Poshmark and see what the comps look like. Okay, again, comps for this dress were really good. Madewell size four. It's like a ditzy floral printed dress with an asymmetric button down detail. This took me like a solid five minutes to button all the way up, but it's worth it. The comps were like 35 to 40-ish on this. Tahari, you guys know I like picking up this brand in 100% linen, size medium. I actually got this for myself, but it was just a little bit too cropped for me. 
with how I was trying to wear it. It does have the mother of pearl button down and back. So with this being 100% linen, it will probably sell, I would say 22 to 28-ish. Next, a summertime staple here, American Eagle shorts. Once again, they are that newer tag. These are in a size 10 and they are the Tom Girl shorty. They have the manufactured distressing. So I think these will probably go, I would say 25 to 28 ish. This I got for several reasons. It is vintage, but it's dead stock vintage, meaning that it was never worn. It is new tags in a size large by the brand Liz Sport. It looks like it originally retailed for $48. Hip haberdashery. I guess that's the color or the style, but it's this fuzzy, ribbed knit vest or sleeveless cardigan otherwise known as a vest with these really fun grandpa style buttons going down the front i mainly love the color of this this just screams fall time and also the fabric content 57 percent mohair wool so it is a good fabric content it is dead stock good color and I think that should go, I'd say probably 30-ish, maybe 32. I will add a lot of keywords, even like cottagecore, boho, grandpa, even academia, because you know, with the vest, it kind of gives academia vibes. Next we have M.M. Lafleur. I do like to pick up this brand. It has been sitting for me. I say that I only listed a pair of trouser pants. So, and I don't think I've ever sold trouser pants before. I've only sold their dresses and like jackets and stuff like that. So maybe just the pants don't sell as well. This is a size four. I am expecting this to sell well because all of their dresses have always sold pretty well for me. So this is like a wine colored dress, career dress, really nice material, thick knit, looks really flattering. So yeah, I'll probably list this. I haven't sold this brand in a long time, so I do need to look up comps on this, but I'm expecting to list that for at least $50 to $60. More 100% linen. I've mentioned it in the past, but I do like to pick up this brand when that is the fabric content. Size extra small, pull on elastic waist, tiered maxi skirt so just a high quality basic here you could do a lot with this it has pockets it's in good condition i do like that color we have new tags blue and gray for loft in a size large maxi dress retailed for 70 dollars really fun colorful striped print it's a t-shirt tank dress with side vents on both sides so very beachy and yeah I do really like this colorful print to it okay this I was so excited about because it is a blogger favorite every time I find a Zara piece I'm always crossing my fingers that it is a blogger favorite that basically just means that a blogger people influencers people on Instagram that kind of thing or Pinterest people influencers on Instagram who take Pinteresty pictures wearing a certain item from Zara and basically make the piece more desirable more sellable the demand goes up for it because everyone wants to have it they want to copy the look in the pictures and this is one of those pieces Zara so I will be adding blogger favorite into both my title and description for this piece. It is a green tweed mini dress with these details on the waist. Really cute, in great shape, size extra small. And yeah, I was seeing pretty high comps for this, around $70. So we will see, I'll probably list mine lower than that just because I do like to move stuff out quicker. Okay, these were a good find also. Eileen Fisher in a size extra, extra small. I did try these on and they are a bit big for me. So I would say they fit closer to a true size small. They're a blue color with a white stripe, wide leg cropped pants with pockets. And these are 85% organic linen, 15% linen. I'll probably expect 35 from those. 
Another great find, Bowden. I believe this is one of their newer tags. This is also something that I checked comps on. I want to say this is the Lucy jersey dress, uh, tunic dress, in a size US 14 regular, which is awesome. This is so soft and comfy feeling. It has a subtle balloon sleeve to it. And this feels brand new. No fading, no pilling, no signs of wear. 95% viscose, 5% elastin. Yeah, so my title for this will probably be Bowden 14R Soft Stretchy Jersey Knit Lucy Balloon Sleeve Dress. Okay, next we have American Eagle. Once again, that newer tag. And I think these are new without tags because they look brand new and they have that barb there. They're a size 8, 100% cotton tie waist striped full length pant. Really cute with these flap pockets in back. And I mean, yeah, I mainly got these because they looked brand new. We have more new with tags. That was basically the, if this had not been new with tags, I would have left it behind. Eliza J size large off shoulder knit sweater dress in a striped print. It's like a midi length. It does have elastic there. It looks like it retailed for $128. So yeah, this will probably sell closer to fall time for probably 30 to 35 ish. I was excited about these. I've never found the wedgie fit from Levi's before. I've heard so many resellers talk about how this style sells so well from Levi's. These are in a size 23, which is pretty small, but I mean, there's every size out there. These are a light wash. So I'll probably list these, I would say 40 to 45-ish. I do, once again, still need to look up comps, but they're in excellent condition, no flaws. Okay, we have Gap. I got this because it was a size extra large and I like the cut to it. It's a navy, I don't think it's off shoulder, but it sits, it's kind of like a boat neck almost kind of thing with elastic and then a puff sleeve, defined waist and then a ruffle bottom hem. And this is lined, it's really nice. It is not lined actually, <laughs> but it's a thicker material so it's definitely not sheer 100% cotton and I do pick up gap stuff like I was saying earlier if it's like a more substantial piece which this is I would say and also if it's newer this is from summer 2021 if that had been any smaller than an extra large I would have left it okay, next we have another one of my absolute favorite brands to find Everlane in a size 4 this is a mock neck blouse so it has that mock neck to it and then a nice little sleeve here with a banded wrist and a keyhole opening and back. This is 100% modal. I thought it was silk when I first found it, but I would honestly prefer it to be modal because it'll sell for, or 100% cupro, so that's rayon. It'll sell a little bit less being rayon versus silk, but it would inevitably have flaws if it were silk, so. I'm fine with it not. We have more pants. I found a ton of pants. These Hollister size extra large, ultra high rise. So I got these because of the size and the style. Um, they are really trendy and because I can add in a ton of keywords. Again, academia, preppy, clueless, that kind of thing and I think they should sell well again if these had been any smaller than an extra large I most likely would have left those next we have Torrid in a size 1x and this is a mixed media dress super cute so mixed media meaning that it has two or more differing fabric contents so this upper is a sweater it's a sweater knit and then the skirt portion is a rayon floral print and kind of like I was saying with cabbie where I check every piece 
I do the same with Torrid, but what I am looking for here is the age of the item. So this, the cut date is June of 2022. So that is, that meets my uh, newness requirement. Oh, this is kind of cute, kind of interesting, a little different. It is a unitard. I want to say that's what this is called. It's from Pink Active, which is a subset of Victoria's Secret, size small. I don't know, is this a unitard? Is that what they call it? Or just a jumpsuit? It is form fitting, definitely like an athletic kind of piece. I think these are really popular right now. Uh, the girlies are wearing these with like a loose button down over it and then like running shoes. The padding was still there. This looks brand new. So yeah, I'll expect probably 30, maybe 32-ish from that. Another pair of pants. I actually think we have another one after these. These are just from Target, but once again, they did have several marketable features to them. First off, they are a size 12 slash 31 regular vintage stretch. They're new with tags, they're leopard print, and they have a very trendy cut with this wide cropped ankle leg. So another great fall time piece with just like a black top or sweater. I think those will probably go 25-ish. Second to last piece here, this is Isabella Sinclair. This brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology, size extra small, grid printed button down blouse top with a crossover design at the bottom waist or at the waist a little high low hem and i liked the dusty pink color so yeah just a bread and butter piece here probably 22 to 25 ish and our very last piece for today is this pair of newer tag zara pants in a size 12. they're a black high rise wide cropped leg pant so i mainly got these once again for the size as well as the cut of them so as you can see i do take lots of factors into consideration when i am thinking about picking something up it has to have at least two or three marketable features to it for me to pick it up even with my low cost of goods of two dollars and twelve cents mainly because I like my items to move quickly. And so I want to make sure that they are trendy. People are searching for the sizes, styles, cuts, materials, that kind of thing. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I do have a lot to clean up now. And then I'm actually headed back to the bins today to shop once again. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.